Hi everyone. So um, last week we spoke about you know about um, the stress and water and the drinks. I'm uh, just hoping that you know these tips have come handy and you have all started following. If not everything, at least the water intake. So today I'm going to you know once again uh, uh, share a few more tips that uh, will help you improvise on your health better. Uh, during this time of lockdown and COVID-19, and we're listening to a lot of uh, you know talks on immunity. I'm sure even the little children, uh, you know, they may not know the meaning of immunity, but they have heard this word, you know, and they know that everybody is talking about it. Let me uh, speak a little bit about science. Now, in our body, we have T cells, which actually can understand when there is a bacteria or virus that attacks us. Now these T cells get affected when we do not take care of ourselves. So too much of sugar intake okay, affects the T cells from working. In other words, it actually slows down the working of the T cells. As a result, we, they will not, you know, the bacteria will not be uh, uh, recognized by the cells. So how do you work on it? How do you work on your health? So the first thing that I want to talk about is sweet. Every one of us, okay, every one of us have this, uh, might have heard uh, this saying that I have a sweet tooth, okay, or I love eating sweet or maybe after lunch, you know, kuch meeta ho jai. So something about sweet is there in every person's house. And India being a land of different culture and festival, we are always having something in our fridge. So you open the fridge, there will be actually some chocolates or some pedas or something to do you know with sweet so much so that you know earlier we used to distribute sweet when somebody passes but from the time you know with the media with the movies coming into the picture we also have people celebrating when they fail like a saying goes na appu fail hua tobi we distribute sweets to add to it when when are the other times that you see sweets happening in our lives you know earlier uh, i have this saying like when my mom passed away and we had her months my mass I had all my family members telling me that your mom is like this sweet or that sweet and you know let's make it during the months month. No doubt it, it helps us to remember those people but having so many sweets will affect your health in the long run. What does the sweet do to our body? As I mentioned if you have cancer cells okay, or somebody who is suffering from cancer and is into eating a lot of sweets. Remember your white blood cells stop working for almost 4 hours from the time you intake too much of sweets. To add to it, children, okay, we say children have worm problem. Now worm problem is not because they eat sweet. The idea is that they have a lot of things that they touch here and there and those same fingers go into their mouth. Okay, so what happens is the, the germs have already entered their mouth. Then to add to it, every time you see a child, tell me uh, how many of us have really thought of giving the child a fruit? Okay, whenever we visit a child or someone's home and you know there is a kid inside in that home, the first thing that we think about is buying him a Cadbury chocolate, okay. So this is where we go wrong because this sweet when the child eats, okay, you may feel that only you are giving one sweet but believe me, every person who comes to that house and sees the child will want to give the child a sweet. So the sweet intake is too much in the body due to which these you know worms they feed on the sweets that are eating and they increase so sweet is anyway harmful for not just those suffering from back from diabetes and cancer but for every person now i am not telling you you don't have to eat sweet what i'm trying to tell you here is follow your tradition there are a lot of sweets that can be made with the help of jaggery okay so you rather go in for these kind of sweets to add to it, please do not get carried away with the media, with the ads that tell you about sugar free. Remember when you hear the word sugar free, oil free, there is something that has to be added to maintain the taste and the quality of that food. So because it is sugar free, what we will do is we will end up eating more. Okay, again that is harmful. It is better to know that there is something, some amount of sugar in something and I rather eat less of it. So that was about sugar. Uh, I hope uh, you know you're going to be a little more conscious about it uh, next time. The th next uh, topic that I want to talk about is about sleep. Now all of us have heard you know for that 7 hours of sleep is important. Not that I am saying anything different. Okay. But what is the 7 hours? Is it 
that you sleep at one o'clock and then calculate for seven hours and wake up at eight? No, this is absolutely wrong. Okay, your body has the tendency to repair itself during the time that you rest. Just like a car or a bike needs to go for servicing when you're not using it, right? So same way our body goes under repair mode when we are resting. It is said that by 11 o'clock, 10.30, 11 o'clock, your body starts going into uh, automatic repair mode. That is why in case you are suffering from a cold, you will see that if you take medication also, it takes approximately two weeks to get cured. And if you are not on medication also, you will take approximately two, uh, two weeks to get out of it. The reason is your body is doing the repair work inside. Now, suppose you get into the habit, you know, because people tell, uh, have shared with me that, you know, during work hours, it's difficult to see uh, Facebook and Insta or for that matter, enjoy Netflix. So what they do is they spend the later nights, you know, to do all this and all the youngsters, I'm sure you enjoy watching everything in the night, all the movies. Okay. So what happens is if you start sleeping post 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, your body is not getting repaired. For example, if your heart is supposed to be repaired at 11, your kidneys at 11.30 and you sleep every day at 12 o'clock. So for some months you will not realize. But after some months you will have ailments in these organs of your body. Okay. It is said just as you know when a person's body is getting better, when you start following something good and your body is getting healthier from inside, it takes time for your body to tell you that. Just like when a person suffering from cancer, many a times does not know it immediately when he gets cancer. By the time they know it, it is already the second or the third stage. Why is it so? Because your body is trying to fight that sickness, that disease. So, uh, you know, it is just a simple theory. Sleep early, wake up early, begin your day right and you see how much of your health will improve. To add to it, there is something called visceral fat in our body. This is the fat on your vital organs which cannot be seen with your naked eyes. Now, how do you know that you have visceral fat? If you are staying on the fourth floor, try climbing up and down the floors without using a lift at least one to two times. If you are able to do it without getting breathless, tired okay, and struggling to climb, it shows you have less of history. But if you are a person who cannot walk a few kilometers or climb you know, your staircase, it shows that you have a very high visual fat. 2 to 4 percent is something that is normal. But believe me, when I started my healthy active lifestyle, when I started taking care of myself, I myself was at 12 percent. Today I am, you know, taking, making small changes in my life. I have come down to 5 percent, still 1 percent to go down. And I hope and I wish that all of you become a little more conscious about your sleeping habits. That will take away, you know, that is one lifestyle change can make a vast difference in your health. The third thing, like last time I spoke about drinking, this time I want to talk about smoking. It's not just the one who is into smoking is affected. Remember those around you are also affected due to the smoke. It is said that when you travel, maybe from Thane to Viti, you have already smoked two cigarettes because of this pollution, because of so much of uh, harmful uh, you know, smoke around us. So it is not possible that I'm going to leave Mumbai and go and stay somewhere where there is absolutely no pollution. It is difficult. But what we need to do is at least where we can take care, we need to. We need to start, you know, breathing fresh air. So next time you plan to take your kids for an outing, remember you can actually do it by taking them to the garden. Many a times what I used to do, you know, being a mother of four kids, I used to feel it is much easier to go to a mall, you know, there is AC and some, you know, indoor games and it is easier and, you know, better for me. But, you know, that is the place the child is not getting any fresh air. We have so many gardens. We need to take, you know, children to the garden. I remember as a kid, my father would plan, you know, going to a beach or something of that sort. So let's uh, plan to do the same thing. And I hope that these things that we are going to talk about, you know, the things that I have shared in this video, you are going to start putting into practice. No doubt, due to COVID, we may not be able to go out. I do understand. But once things get better, make some time. Spend some time in the outside. You know, and St. John has a lot of place outside. Many other parks, 
are around the vicinity we should go and spend some time in the open watch the trees and you know the surroundings around you and uh, this will help us to be healthy so uh, till we meet again have a nice week enjoy your weekends and uh, you know looking forward to see much more healthier people out there thank you so much instructions first is you need shoes it will help your body to be comfortably uh, lying on the floor okay uh, try to do the modified if you are having joint pains okay and try i will show you the normal version and the and the modified version okay whichever you are comfortable with uh, you can do that take breaks whenever you want okay uh, don't exert yourself too much do it in your own pace and okay uh, so we start off with a little stretching then we we'll do warm up and then we we'll do a few exercises okay once again we we'll start with the Warm up, stretching. With your wrist, one, two, three, four, five. Opposite direction, one, two, three, four, five. Shoulders, one. Try and touch your elbows, two, three, four, five. Opposite direction, one, two, three, four, and five. Hands, one, two, three. Four, five, opposite direction. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Your hips. One, two, three, four, five. Opposite direction. One, two, three, four, and five. Knees. One, two, three. Four, five, opposite direction. One, two, three, four, and five. Next, ankles. One, if you want, you can take a little support. One, two, three, four, five. Change. One, two, three, four, five. Switch leg. One, two, three. Four, five, change one, two, three, four, five. Now twist your body. One, two, three, four, five. Push your hands upwards. One, two, three, four, five. Bring your legs together, touch your toes and come up. One, two, three, four, five. Spread your legs, opposite fingers to toes. One, two, three, four, and five. So that was the stretching. We'll now move on to warm ups, okay? So we start off with slow jog. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Next is skipping. One. This is the modified two. Three, four, 
5, this is the normal version, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, you can continue, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Next we'll do jumping jacks, okay, modified, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the normal version, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, you can continue, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Next is mummy kicks, okay, hands in front, this is the modified, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the normal version, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You continue, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Next, high knees, okay, modified, you can do it like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you can raise your hand, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, the normal, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Next is butt kicks, okay? Keep your hands to the side, the modified, kick your heels to your butt. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the normal version, 1, 7, 8, 9, 10, you can catch me, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. So that was the warm up, okay, you can have a sip of water, uh, in my case, I have my green tea, uh, which is also a, a refreshing drink, it's called a fresh. Have only sips of water in between, uh, otherwise you'll find it difficult to do the exercises, okay. Uh, we move on now to our leg exercises, we start off with the normal squat. Okay, stand shoulder length, okay, and you have to make sure that your knees don't cross your toes, okay. Push your butt region behind, okay. Squat, I'll show you the side version, okay. Stand shoulder length, squat. Try to keep your back as straight as possible, okay. So when you're squatting, like I said, don't let your knees cross your toes. Push this area behind. Look straight up and squat. For all of you who have been modified, do only half, okay? Don't go right down, okay? So we start. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three. Inhale and exhale. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Superb job. Kick your legs. Using your legs. Inhale and exhale. If all of you find it difficult, you can take support of the wall. Okay. Next, we'll do a variation. Normal squat and kick. Okay, I'll show you. Squat, kick. Okay. Ball will be modified. Squat. Make sure that your knees are straight. You try and kick it at least hip length, okay? And keep giving it a hard kick, okay? So let's go. Three, two, and one. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
सेवन एट नाइन टेन नाइन एट सेवन सिक्स फाइव फोर थ्री टू एंड वन ओके किक है नेक्स्ट अगेन एंड यू कैन हैव सिप ऑफ वाटर That was wonderful, guys. Uh, let's do one more set of normal squats and squat and kick. Okay. Once again, pay attention. If you're getting pains, you can stop. And those who want to do the modified, you can go as much as you can. Okay. Uh, if you're getting breathless, that's perfectly fine. I also get breathless. Okay. So let's go normal squats. Okay. Ready? Three, two, and one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, look straight. Eight, nine. Try to keep your back straight. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Super, lovely job, guys. Kick your legs. You're doing great. Okay. Inhale and exhale. Okay, keep going. Push yourself. Okay. Now we're going to do squat, kick. Okay, squat and kick alternately. Ready? Three, two, and one. Let's go. One, kick. Two, kick. Three, kick. Four, kick. Five. Six, kick. Seven, kick. Eight, nine, ten, nine, eight. Inhale and exhale. Seven, look straight. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Super, super. Kick your legs. Okay, stick your legs. Once again, have a sip of water. Lovely. We'll now move on to lunges. Okay. Uh, just look at the form. How it's to be done. Okay. You bring your leg forward. Bend both legs. Okay. They both have to be perpendicular. Okay. Don't hit your knee down. It just has to be above the ground. Look straight. Okay. Alternate legs. Okay. For all those who are doing modified, you can do. You can uh, go down as much as you can. Okay. This much also is enough. Okay. Another thing, the gap between your heels and your knees should be a little more than one foot. Okay. Otherwise, it comes too close. Right. So much. look straight. Perfectly. Keep your back straight. Okay. So let's do it together. Three, two, and one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Superb job, guys. Keep your legs. Good job, guys. Sweating. Okay. So, right. so now we do a variation of the lunges that we just did. Okay. 
So your lunge, okay? Kick, back. Lunge, kick, back. Okay? Watch your balance. Lunge, kick, back. Okay? Then counts on one leg. Okay? Then counts on the other leg. Kick, back. Okay? Uh, if you're not getting your balance, you can use a wall. Okay? Lunge, kick, back. Okay? All those who are doing modified, once again, you do the lunge how much you can. Don't bend too much. Even if you are having joint pains or knee pains, then kick your legs. You raise your legs how much you can. Okay? So let's go. On my count. Three, two, and one. Lunge, kick. Two, kick. Three, kick. Four, kick. Five, kick. Six, kick. Inhale and exhale. Seven, kick. Eight, kick. Nine, kick. Last one. Ten, kick. Superb. Change leg. Okay. Ready? Three, two, and one. Let's go. Lunge, kick. Two, three, four, five. Keep your core tight. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Superb, guys. Kick your legs again. Okay. sip of water if you're getting too breathless you can inhale exhale okay inhale from your nose exhale from your mouth okay. so we'll do the same thing again both sets okay one is lunch and lunge kick, okay? Ready? Let's do it guys. Three, two, and one. Lunge, back, alternate legs. Two, three, four, no guys, you can do it. Five, six, seven, eight, so okay. nine, 10, 9, 8, take your back straight, 7, look straight forward, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Super, super, awesome. Okay, next, the variation. Okay, lunch, okay. Ready? Three, two, watch your balance, and one. Let's go. Lunge, kick. Two, three, four, five. You're burning all that fat, guys. Come on. Six, seven, eight. Keep your core tight. Nine, and ten. Super. Last set. Last set. Change your leg. Three, two, and one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can you feel the pressure on your legs? Eight, come on. Nine, watch your form. And ten. Super. Super. Take a break, inhale and exhale, have a sip of water, okay, and we'll be back for the cool down. Right guys, you did some wonderful leg exercises, okay, uh, but some of you will find that your legs are sore or they might be shivering, which is perfectly normal because your muscles have torn and you have to even them with your knees, okay, but uh, we're going to do the cool down now, so this will help you relax your leg muscles, okay. Uh, if you if the pain still persists or the shivering still persists, continue to do the cool down 
maybe twice or thrice in the day okay and you can maybe tomorrow or the next day you can do the exercises again okay so that will relax the muscles okay and uh, if you don't rather the, the pain will persist for a longer time okay so we start off with the cool down okay first just kick your legs kick your legs okay and go on your toes stand on your toes stand on your toes you see how I'm marching stand on your toes Super. Now walk in a circle. Stand on your toes, walk in a circle. Stand on your toes, walk in a circle. Okay, let me see. Okay, love it. Next, go on your heels. Okay, again march. Okay. Now walk in a circle. Walk in a circle. Super. Awesome. Awesome. Keep your legs. Okay. Next, raise your knees. Okay, raise your knees so you might lose your balance. Okay, hold the side, raise your knees, okay, and hold, hold it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Change, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we'll do it for a longer time now. Okay, up, try to bring your knees to your chest. Hold, five, four, three, two, one. Change, next leg, five, Four, three, two, and one. Super. Now from the back, okay, bring your heels to your butt. Hold it first with one leg. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Change, if you want, take support, take support. Five, four, three, two, and one. We'll do that again. Five, four, three, two, one. Change, five, four, three, two, one. And one. Now, when you take your heels to your butt, hold it with both hands. Okay? Hold it with both hands. Okay? And bring your knee. See, your knee will be at a gap. Bring it towards your leg. Okay? Bring it towards your leg. Support if you want. Okay? So stand close to the wall. Hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Change. Bring your knee in. Look straight. Five, four, three, Two and one. Super. Inhale. Exhale. You can close your eyes if you want. Inhale from the nose. Exhale from the mouth. Inhale. Exhale. Now inhale. Hold for for five counts. Hold your breath for five counts and exhale for five counts. Okay. Can we do that? Let's try. Inhale. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale. One, two, three, four, and five. Once again, inhale. One, two, three, four, five. Hold the breath. Five, four, three, two. Exhale. One, two, three, four, and five. Super. I generally tend to get breathless because I'm speaking and doing the exercises. I'm sure you guys also will get breathless. Don't worry. Stop whenever you want. Okay. Now, like I was saying, we did core last last week. Today, this week, we are doing uh, leg exercises. So I uh, recommend that you alternate one day core, one day leg exercises. Okay. We have our daily virtual batches. Okay. Inviting all of you to join us. Until we meet again next week. Take care.